What could be more picture perfect than a town in Vermont in the fall? How about 251 towns in Vermont in the fall? Connor Knighton tells us all about it by the numbers. Vermont is known as the Green Mountain State. But come autumn, its mountain slopes are anything but green. As the leaves turn red and yellow and orange, picturesque towns turn into tourist hotspots. Number 53, 53. Waterbury Vermont. <laughs> All right. The Red Cruz and Aaron Agnew aren't your typical leaf peepers. They've come to the town of Waterbury on their honeymoon. Sort of. When these Vermonters got married back in 2020, the pandemic forced them to cancel the trip they'd originally planned and stay closer to home instead. We had to think about, well, what are we going to do um, for a honeymoon? So. Go to every town in Vermont was the Go answer. To every town in Vermont, that's right. And, and that extends the honeymoon. It's more than just one trip, too. At this rate, the honeymoon period could last for well over a decade. They've been taking trips whenever they can get away, taking tips from the many members of the 251 Club. Our first town was Brookfield. We wanted to see the floating bridge. It'll be in Randolph. The 251 Club is a group dedicated to exploring all of Vermont's towns and cities. Every town that has a brewery we want to go to. At their annual meeting, they gather together to talk about their journeys. Are we doing it together? Are there rules? Tim is very competitive, so he feels there should be rules. It's got to be rules. Lynn and I but there aren't any rules. I've heard it said that we are a lawless organization, right? Um, that kind of the only rule is that you have to love Vermont and want to explore it. Mike Leonard is on the board of the 251 Club, which has maintained its name even though Vermont now technically has 252 towns. Like he said, the rules are loose. When he was 20, he hit the towns on a road trip with two of his pals. And so I took it on as a challenge to really explore what it does mean to be a Vermonter. Some of the towns, you know, only had five or six people in them. Esther Farnsworth Orba, didn't start her quest until she was 90. There are a lot of places in Vermont that I haven't seen. So I just decided I'd go and... Now 93, Farnsworth made it through the list in two and a half years. And I know the best places in Vermont to get ice cream, Ben and Jerry's isn't the only one, you know, there are <laughs> some others too. The 251 Club was first proposed in a 1954 issue of Vermont Life magazine. Poet Arthur Peach wrote that Vermont, from the beginning, has been a state of towns, and in them only can the real Vermont be found and seen. In the town of Thetford, you can see the Vermontosaurus. In the town of Glover, you'll find the unattended Museum of Everyday Life, devoted to ordinary objects. Just turn the lights off when you leave. In a single afternoon, you can travel from Peru to Jamaica to Athens. But as every traveler knows, it's not always about the destination. You know, driving around, talking, it's just been, yeah, it's definitely been really good, like father-daughter bonding time, especially yeah, during the pandemic. Whenever you complete your quest, there's no grand prize. The club doesn't make you prove anything, but what happens is your heart opens up when you finish because you get to see how much commitment is in each of those tiny little towns that are out of the way places, but people love them. That's Vermont's Congressman Peter Welch, a proud 251er. That deep sense of pride and sense of place is perhaps best summed up in the Vermont State song. These green hills which Esther Farnsworth insisted I could not leave the state without hearing. They say home is where the heart is. These green mountains are my home. I love that. That's a great <laughs> set of it. 